Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Turning Red, the new Pixar film. Anyway, and it is directed by Domi Shi, uh, it's going to play by Julia Cho and Domi Shi, story by Domi Shi and Julia Cho and Sarah Stretcher, uh, produced by Lindsay Collins, starring Rosalie Rosal Chan, uh, Sandra O, oh, F. Morris and Hyatt Park. Cinematography is Maya Abrusti, uh, Jonathan Pitko, edited by Nicholas C. Smith and Steve Bloom, music by Ludwig Goranson, uh, production companies Walt Disney Pictures and Pixar Animation Studios, distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures, released February 21st, 2021 at Everman Road to the Yards, I think that was the premiere, and March 11th, 2021, uh, sorry, 2022, not 2021 anymore, in the United States, well, and on Disney Plus, basically. It ran for 100 minutes. It's not budget or anything, but anyway. Um, should I go spoilers? No. Let's, let's not go spoilers for people that have not seen this film. So, Turning Red is basically a 13 year old me. I think it's called Mia. Mia? I'm just. I'm sorry, I'm. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know Chinese. I'm sorry. I was gonna say Mia. Um. It's experiencing the awkwardness of being a teenager with a twist when she gets too excited, she transforms into a giant red panda. Yes. Um, the voice cast for Rosalind Chang is uh, Mia, Sandra O oh is Ming Li, Eva Morris is Miram, and Hyann Park is Abby. Production and development. She first pitched her word to Pixar on October 31st, 2017. That same year, Pixar hired Chang to provide scratch vocals to support the development of the film. Chang, then only, uh, then only 12 years old, was selected in a part because she was a local child actor, conveniently based in a near Fremont, which is only about 35 miles from Pixar Emeryville headquarters. On May 8th, 2018, it was reported that she who wrote and directed the Academy Award winner, Short Bayo, uh, that same year, was writing and directing a full-length feature film at a studio, making her second woman to direct a Pixar film after Brendan, uh, Brenda Champion, uh, Chapman, who co-directed Brave, as well as the first solo Pixar director for a feature film. On November 6, uh, 26, uh, 26, 2018, she confirmed that she is working on the film at the studio. She also said uh, that... Uh, that the film was in early stages of development, with the story still being worked on, and that she is very excited to play, uh, very excited to play in this new ninety-minute film format. On January first, twenty nineteen, she said that she, she said that she uh, planned for the film to be entertaining and emotional. Uh, after two years of development, she and producer Lindsay Collins reached a point where the film was solid. So solid enough to start casting professional voice actors. After listening to various a variety of, of auditions, they realized that they had already fallen in love with Chang scratch perform uh, scratch vocals and could not envision anyone else playing Mia. They escalated the issue to Pixar chief creative officer Pete Doctor, who personally approved casting Chang in the role, film's lead role. During a 2020 recording session, she suddenly surprised Chang with an, emotion, an additional script page in which she read in the character as Ming, offering Chang a Chang the role. Sandra O oh was she's top pick for Ming, as besides being both an Asian Canadian, she also believed uh, O oh could be uh, could cover the range of complex emotion that portray to be, to portray in Ming. Anyway. Let's just get into my thoughts for Turning Red. This film, it's a film. Do I enjoy it? It's fine. It's a good movie. And there is problems with this film that I did talk about in my Pixar ranking for well, in a tier list for the Pixar. But yeah, Turning Red, it's, the problems is I'm not really interested in to girls that get their periods. Yeah, and about a giant red panda. Uh, if she gets all excited. 
yeah, that's it's unfortunate that this is only a good movie, but yeah, unfortunately, it's a good movie. Well, it is good that it's a good movie because it could be on the bad tier, which is still not good. Anyway, turning red, I'm giving this film a three out of five stars. Percentage, I'm gonna be giving it a sixty-five percent. Right, I'm gonna be giving it a C minus, and out of ten, I'm gonna be giving it a six point five out of ten. This film does try its best on being a great movie, but unfortunately it does not reach that level for me. But maybe next time it could reach that level. Plus we have White Year coming out in July, so that could make it high up for me. But that is it. Hope you enjoyed my review for Turning Red. Please subscribe to my channel. That will be a big help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.